All right, well, this is going to be my Flashforge uh, 3D printer. I think it's the Greater Pro uh, version of the printer. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. Uh, I am uh, not a 3D printer guru by any means. So uh, it's going to be coming from kind of a novice point of view. So let me go ahead and get started with the uh, unboxing. All right, so this box is about 50 pounds, pretty heavy. Um, bought it for roughly $1,200 from Amazon Prime. Uh, it was sh I had some problems with the shipping for about a week, but something just went wrong, and they were able to uh, reorder it and get it to me within a day. So. Most people should be able to get this within two days with Amazon Prime, which is kind of uh, kind of amazing. So, all right. Well, here's a box. It says parts inside. Here's another one. It says parts inside. I'll just put this off to the side. And then we've got a box here kind of heavy. We'll figure out what's in here later. And then now we have, I believe, the 3D printer itself. So if you could see that, it's got bubble wrap and protection on the sides for transportation. So I'm going to go ahead and try to be an engineer here and do it with the least effort, which is flipping it upside down. And then we're going to lift it up slowly, make sure nothing falls out. There we go. Okay. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and rearrange this so we can see a little better. Sorry about that noise. I'm gonna take off these covers here. It's got some tape here. We'll go ahead and tape that on to itself to get it out of the way. And I see in the machine, I believe this is the bottom part of it. Go ahead and take that most of the way off. I'm going to go ahead and put it up on this table. A little heavy, so be careful. And this is just plastic bubbles, which my kids will. Uh, Get a kick out of I'm sure. Let's just get these pads out of the way. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and there's some handles right here that I'm gonna pick it up from. The handles on the opposite side, lift it up, and I believe you're seeing the back side of it, so I'm going to flip it around so you can see the front. And there we go. Okay. So it looks like we've got a box on top. We've got some zip ties here that we need to cut off. The zip tie. And then we have some stuff here in the middle. This looks like one of the filaments that came with it, and here's another one that's a different color, which I believe is purple or blue. So, but we'll see when we get it all the way out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these zip ties up here, so we can get out everything. Okay, one zip tie off.
two on them. And the third one is off. Hoping you guys can hear me okay. While I was vacuuming in the back. I'm gonna bring the mic over a little bit. All right, so we got the zip ties off. So now I'm gonna take the bubbles off. Put my uh, put my razor away. Okay. So you could probably see it there. This is the uh, Creator Flash Forge. So it's the Flash Forge Creator Pro. So. Okay, so I'm going to take out this top part and see what's in this. I believe these are the extruders themselves. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave these in the box and place this on the back side. And we'll open that box later. Okay. So now trying to get out the rest of the stuff. We'll see how we can do that. I'm just going to push this up ever so slowly. Just putting a, a little pressure on it. I'm grabbing the front side right here and I'm grabbing the back. It's got kind of like a, a a plate there. Go ahead and try to show you. I'm grabbing this part right here. This on the bottom of it, and I'm pulling up. Okay, so I'm pulling this side and that plate that I was just talking about, and ever so slightly, it's moving up. Okay, now there's some bubble wrap on this, trying to figure out how to get it off. Okay, it's just kind of, kind of caught in mine, but there you go. And then there are some cards on this, so... This is a special sheet for leveling. Okay. Well, this looks like another special sheet for printing. It's got 3M on it, so some sort of adhesive is what I'm guessing. And same thing again. Okay. So I'm going to continue to lift this as far up as I can get it. Don't, don't put too much pressure on it or, or I'm sure you'll break it. Okay, so I got enough height now to take out the filament. Here's the white filament. I'll go ahead and uh, take it out of the package so you can see it.
Okay, there's the white, which I'm sure I'll be using a lot of. And here is the black. Or, I'm sorry, purple. Be nice if it was black. And here's the purple. You can't really see the color too good in the video, I don't think, but it's purple. Not blue. I'm gonna place that over here on the ground. Okay. Another piece of cardboard that doesn't have anything on it. And uh, that's all that's in there. But let me go ahead and open up those boxes we set aside at the beginning. Here's the one that's a little bit heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Kind of an awkward way. Packaging. So it looks like acrylic. I'm guessing this is the plate that goes in front here. This is another piece of acrylic that I believe you build up the frame that goes on top of here if my memory serves me correctly. So, there's one. So this goes on the back side because it's got that hole. And then this goes on the side like that. And then you got another one of these over here. And then you've got the final piece that goes in the front like that. I've got those things. Leave that on top there. Another piece of acrylic, which I believe goes on the top here. And then, not to, oh, well, these are the hinges for that lid on top. Or maybe it's, uh, it's actually for this right here. Anyways, I'll show the close up. And we got two of those. Okay. Oh, more pieces I almost didn't get. Uh, now this box is empty. So we got a handle here, which I believe is for this to come up and down. And then we got lots of screws and bolts. Okay. We'll open up one of the other boxes. This is the uh, filament hose. This is where you put the filament in. And it kind of gets placed like this. And it guides the, uh, the filament from the reel into the actual uh, uh, filament heads. And it gets put in. So There's guides on the internet about that, so I'm not going to get too, too much into it. I'm going to leave that there. Alright, and now we're on to the last box. Okay, it's all empty. 
We have a uh, power cable. Go ahead and open that up. Just a plain old computer power cable connector. There you go. And the three prong. And then we have some sort of cable that I'm sure I'm going to find out what it goes to. Probably some sort of internal cable. And then lastly, we have a USB cable. Not too fancy. Not fancy at all. But all right, well, that has been my unboxing of the uh, Flashforge Creator Pro. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Thanks. All right, well, sorry, I forgot one last thing that I put aside and I didn't actually uh, go back to. So that's the, uh, the extruders that are in the back. So let me go ahead and uh, take those out and then let you get a look at those. All right, so here's the extruders. Go ahead and pull this up. I'll show you the warning label once I get it out. Here's the foam. Uh, some sort of mounting bracket. Put this down here. Another mounting bracket. I believe this is probably for the filament. And then, oh, got this first. Got a an SD card. SD card there. We got a little screwdriver to put all the screws in. And then uh, got some Allen wrenches in there. Let me take it out of this bag. You know, make it a little easier to see. We got a, an SD card there. Got two screws. And then we got a whole bunch of screws and a Phillips. And there's also, uh, looks like a fuse in there as well. There we go. And then a very small screw driver. And last but not least, the uh, filament heads are right here. I'll try to bring the camera a little closer for you to see. Here they are, and somehow they're going to get uh, mounted in here. I'll go ahead and zoom the camera in. Sorry for any vertigo. Got fans on the bottom. Or top. There's all the wiring. And uh, that is it, my friends. I'm all done. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video.